Welcome back to my channel Math School. In today's video, let us solve the question number 1, part 3 and 4 from exercise 3.4, chapter 3, pair of linear equations in two variables. In my previous videos, I've completed the examples 1 to 6 and 11 to 13, exercises 3.1 and 3.2. If you have not watched these videos, do find the link in the description box below or click the i button above. So knock number 1 from exercise 3.2, chapter 3, pair of linear equations in two variables says, solve the following pair of linear equations by elimination method in this video we will solve the third and fourth part of this question number one so the pair of linear equations given here are 3x minus 5y minus 4 equal to 0 and 9x is equal to 2y plus 7 always remember to solve a pair of linear equations by elimination method always ensure that the variables are on the left hand side of the equal to sign and the constant is on right hand side Side. If you look at this equation 1, the constant is also on the left hand side. So let us send this constant to right hand side first. So that will become 3x minus 5y is equal to plus 4. This minus 4 is, will become plus 4. So let us mark this as equation 1. Similarly, in the se given second equation, we have to send this variable 2y to left hand side. So let us do that. So that will be 9x. This plus 2y will become minus 2y equal to 7 and let this be equation number 2. So this is the standard form where all the variables are on the left hand side of the equal to sign and the constants are on the right hand side right so here let us eliminate the y variable so to eliminate the y variable we should make sure that the coefficients in both the equations are equal here we have 5y and here we have 2y so let us multiply the first equation by 2 and second equation by 5 so this will be 3 into 2 is 6x minus 5 twos are 10y equal to 4 into 2 is 8. Similarly, 5 nines are 45x minus 5 twos are 10y is equal to 7 into 5 is 35. So here we got minus 10y and minus 10y in both the equations. So since both are minus sign, we have to change the sign of any one of the equation so that we can eliminate minus 10y y variable. We have here plus and plus. So let us change the sign for second equation. So this plus 45 will become minus 45 and minus minus 10y will become plus 10y and again we have here plus 35 which will become minus 35 right so here minus 10y and plus 10y we can eliminate the y variable now plus 6x and minus 45 we have to subtract with the greater number sign so here the greater number is minus 45 minus 6 will become 39x is equal to and this plus 8 and minus 35 so that will be 27 with a greater number sign x value is x is equal to minus 27 by minus 39 here minus and minus will become so we can cancel with the number 3 3 nines are 27 3 1 times 3 3 is a 9 so we got x value as equal to 9 by 13. So now let us substitute this x value in equation 1. Equation 1 is given by 3x minus 5y is equal to 4. 3 into x value is 9 by 13 minus 5y is equal to 4. So let us send this 5y to right hand side and let us bring this 4 to left hand side. So we will get 9 into 3 is 27 by 13 minus 4 is equal to 5y so let us take 13 as LCM 13 into 4 will be 27 minus 4 into 13 4 into 3 is 12 carry 1 4 into 1 is 4 plus 1 is 5 is equal to 5y so what is 27 minus 52 so here let us subtract plus 27 and minus 52 2 minus 7 so let us take a carry here. So 12 minus 7 will be 5 and we have 4. So 4 minus 2 will be 2. So we will get minus 25 since 52 is a greater number. Minus 25 divided by 13 is equal to 5y. So let us send this 5 to left hand side minus 25 divided by 13. Since 5 is in the numerator on the right hand side, when it comes to the left hand side, 
it becomes the denominator so we can write 1 by 5 is equal to y 5 1 times 5 5 is a 25 so we get y value as equal to minus 5 by 13 right so we got x value as 9 by 13 and y value as minus 5 by 13 so therefore you can write x is equal to 9 by 13 and y is equal to minus 5 by 13 are the solutions for given pair of linear equation so now let us solve the fourth part of the question number one so these are the given pair of linear equations where we have to solve by elimination method again here the equations are given in fractional form so let us convert this fraction form into whole number by taking lcm so in the first equation if what will be the lcm here 3 into 2 as 6 so 6 is the lcm so here we get 2 into 3 as 6 we will take here x into 3 as 3x plus 3 into 2 is 6 so 2 into 2 will be 4y is equal to minus 1 so let us send this 6 to right hand side it will come in the numerator so this will become 3x plus 4y equal to 6 into minus 1 will be minus 6 so let this be equation number 1 similarly if you look at the second equation let us take 3 as the LCM here. If you take 3 as the LCM, 3 into x is 3x minus y is equal to 3. So sending this 3 to right hand side, we will get 3x minus y is equal to 3 into 3 it will become 9. So this will be equation number 2. So we have got the variables on the left hand side and the constant on the right hand side in both the equations and we can also see that the coefficient of x in both the equation is 3 which is equal. So here let us try to eliminate x variable 3x plus 4y is equal to minus 6 and from equation 2 we have 3x minus y is equal to nine but the signs are same so second step is we have to change the sign of any one equation so we are changing the sign for the second equation we will make minus 3x minus y will become plus 5 and here we have plus so plus will become minus 9 plus 3x and minus 3x will get cancelled here we have plus 4y and plus 5 which will add up to become plus 5y equal to minus 6 and minus 9 will also add up to become minus 15 so y is equal to minus 15 divided by 5 so 5 1 times 5 3 times or y value is equal to minus 3 now let us substitute this minus 3 in equation 1 so substitute y equal to minus 3 in equation 1 from equation 1 3x plus 4 into y value is minus 3 is equal to minus 6 or 3x this 4 into minus 3 is minus 12 equal to minus 6 send this minus 12 to right hand side so we get 3x is equal to minus 6 plus 12 or 3x is equal to plus 6 we will get subtracting 12 minus 6 we will get plus 6 with a greater number sign or x is equal to 6 by 3 so 3 1 times 3 2 times or we have got x is equal to 2 so therefore we can write x is equal to 2 and y is equal to minus 3 are solution for the given linear equation so this is how we solve this problem if you have any further doubts do comment me below in the comment section in my next video i'll be solving question number two from exercise 3.2 chapter 3 pair of linear equations and two variable so till then do like my video subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell button below to get the latest updates of my videos as i'll be completing the whole syllabus for class 10th slc and sort math and also do watch the related videos of chapter 3 pair of linear equations shown on the screen. Thank you.